Welcome to the Secunia Corporate Software Inspector 5.0, otherwise known as the Secunia CSI. In this video we will cover the main features of the Secunia CSI such as scanning, results, patching, reports, local database console, PSI integration and community. If you are not aware of the Secunia CSI then I recommend going to the Secunia website secunia.com. Click on Products and then click on Corporate Software Inspector. Here you can find all of the information you need. You also have the option to request a free trial. Firstly provide your information and then click on Submit. You will then receive your credentials and information on how to proceed. The Secunia CSI takes a different approach compared to other scanners by conducting authenticated scans of systems. This makes it possible for the Secunia CSI to identify all installed programs and plugins based on the actual files present on the system. The Secunia CSI can easily adapt to your environment. For that purpose we have multiple ways of conducting a scan agent based, agentless using quick scan or using the agent in network appliance mode. Out of the three the CSI agent offers the best flexibility and has the least amount of requirements. With the Secunia CSI 5.0, you have the possibility to scan the Mac OS X systems. You can download the CSI agent for Mac OS X and then install it locally on your Mac. The CSI agent for Mac will appear in the Secunia CSI console and you will be able to track vulnerabilities. You are able to configure it just like any other CSI agent. To quickly launch a scan, you can use the quick scan functionality and view your results in the results section. Under hosts you have an overview of every machine that is scanned with information such as host name, score, number of insecure programs, end of life and patch installation and last scan. You can filter your scan results by site or by platform. As you can see the Mac hosts appear just like any other hosts. You can review the results by right clicking and then selecting view scan results. Here you have a detailed view of this specific host with the most important information summarized. Here you can see the total amount of programs installed and the general security state of the system. In the scan results section you will have a list view with all of the programs detected on that specific host. If you go to programs all you will find a list with the programs detected by the Secunia CSI. Scrolling further down you can see a detailed list featuring all the software found to be insecure in your network you can find more information about each specific vulnerability in the relevant Secunia advisory. The next step in the vulnerability lifecycle is to patch the discovered vulnerabilities. This can be done from the patch menu. Make sure that you have connected to your Secunia CSI installation to your Microsoft Visus SCCM. If not, you should go through the wizard to make sure that everything is configured correctly. You can check out our other videos on how to integrate your Microsoft Visus or how to integrate your Microsoft SCCM installation. In the Secunia CSI 5.0, you have full access to customize your packages. By using the Secunia packaging system, you are now able to create, update, install and remove programs. With the Secunia CSI 5.0, you are able to create packages for all the programs found in your network, including Microsoft programs you can use new custom package to deploy the new software. You are also able to uninstall specific software. For programs that have silent install parameters you can easily create an update package by following the wizard. You have the option to apply the patch only to 32-bit systems, only to 64-bit systems or to both. In the Secunia CSI 5.0, you can also configure the package applicability rule based on language. The new SPS feature gives you access to the package content. Advanced users can take advantage of this option to modify the behavior of this package. You can upload multiple files and set the order in which they are executed, or you can include or exclude different options of the update package. To customize the package content, you would need basic knowledge of JScript or VBScript. 
you can see all of the published packages under Patch available. In the new Secunia CSI 5.0 we have changed the reporting module in order to give more flexibility in creating reports. This feature allows you to generate and schedule reports. You can generate a one-time report or generate a recurrent report based on a specific time frame. You have the option to include information such as site level statistics, host level statistics or product level statistics in the same report. The report can be generated for different users and sub-users and it can include an executive summary report. All generated reports will appear under the Report Generation view. If you wish to generate your own custom reports, you can use a Secunia API to query the local Secunia CSI database. You have access to all the tables used by the Secunia CSI and you can create your customised query. To view the content of the table, just right click and select Show Data. Here is an example of a query that generates the missing Microsoft KBs. You have the option to export the results to the clipboard or to a file. The Secunia Personal Software Inspector, otherwise known as the Secunia PSI, offers integration with the Secunia CSI 5.0 making it possible to report its local PC scan results to the centralised Secunia CSI dashboard. This significant enhancement enables an administrator to track all the unmanaged PCs connecting to the network and take any remedial action necessary. You can download a customised Secunia PSI installer or you can connect your current Secunia PSI installation by using the link ID. The linked Secunia PSI installation will appear under Hosts with PSI and also in the results menu under hosts. In the Secunia CSI 5.0 you have a better control over your Secunia PSI installations and you can push out settings to your connected Secunia PSI installations and manage the check-in frequency, the frequency between scans or the auto update settings. We encourage our customers to be part of the Secunia CSI community. Therefore for better access we have integrated the community in the Secunia CSI centralized dashboard. This brings us to the end of our Secunia CSI 5.0 overview. If you have any questions, please contact Secunia's Customer Support Centre and one of my colleagues will be happy to assist you. Don't forget to also read the manual and our FAQ. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Stay secure.